row to two, uh, we recommend that you ex uh, bring your trigger up to three. If you're trading row one, you can trade the EuroCAD or the USD CAD. Be aware that last month the EuroCAD went the wrong direction. And the issue with the USD CAD is there's some US data coming up as well. So there's a possibility of uh, some conflicting views there. My plan is going to be to look for a, a after the spike trade on the EuroCAD. If it comes out as a sell, I will uh, consider taking a trade in the 60-90 level, you know, possibly down to 60-75. Uh, it just depends. If we don't get a strong spike, if we only get a spike down to like say 60-95, um, you know, then it may be worthwhile to take a, take a trade there. Just make sure you understand your risk, and that's probably going to be around the 35 level, 30 to 35 level. USD cash pretty cut and dry. Um, it's at the upper portion of the range, but it still has room to go before it hits the highs. So uh, a buy or a sell would be fine if you're trading the spike. Um, just look to take 15 or 20 pips out of the market. Um, Ideally, we'd probably see 25 to 30 point move. So, again, you want to be conservative. No reason to try and take every bit of it. Data should be coming out in the next 15 or 20 seconds. So, for those of you trading the spike, you want to make sure you're settled in. Not over leveraged, of course. If you're new, please trade demo. Sell. Conflicting data. Uh, we got a we got a buy on row one. Row two is actually going to be a pretty good uh, number, surprisingly. Let me drop down to a lower chart so we can see if the market's going to react on the yen. Um, the buy is actually paying out pretty well also. So for those of you that traded the spike, two very good opportunities here in either way, in either account. If you did trade the buy on the yen, let me know. Um, right now you should be uh, or on the uh, EuroCAD, let me know where you got in at. Uh, right now we've got a pretty good pretty good move occurring. We've got a pretty good deviation on, on that row one. On the USD yen, of course, you've got uh, kind of a slower move occurring. Look at the CAD running too. Again, substantial deviation here on this uh, with the uh, the full one. Uh, so um, pretty good move overall, and it's with the it's with the overall trends on the Eurocast specifically. Remember when we were talking about it? I said I would look to take a buy on it um, after a uh, after a sell off. Well, we didn't get a sell off. We just got a straight buy, and as you can see, the market's moving up pretty strong. At this point, it's uh, right there that 6200 level for those who traded the Eurocad. I would recommend taking some of your profit. Um, should have a good bit of profit at this point for those that actually took the trade. Again, let me know where you're in at so I can help manage it. Again, the sell that we got was on the yen, and as you can see, the yen is pushing down from 90.10. It's uh, moved down to 90.06, so it's not pushing down substantially, but you can see the overall bias is short. Um, row one was a buy, and as you can see, it was on the cat. Currency pairs, both currency pairs have, have moved up substantially.